Pasta alla norma is a Sicilian dish that's altogether delicious, comforting, and simple. A few ingredients are involved, pasta, eggplant, and a delicious tomato sauce. I can't wait to show you my take on this dish. I'm Susie with TheMediterraneanDish.com, your number one resource for Mediterranean cooking. If you're new here, subscribe and follow my channel for more delicious videos every single week. Now let's make some pasta alla norma. All right, a star ingredient for pasta alla norma is eggplant. So today I am going to use two globe eggplants right here. I'm gonna start by slicing them into half inch rounds. We get rid of the top and then we're gonna go ahead and peel into some sort of a zebra pattern, you guys. So we want some of the eggplant skin, but not all of it. We're gonna slice into rounds. Now typically with pasta alla norma, they start by sauteing the eggplant or frying it in extra virgin olive oil. But today, we're gonna take what I think is a shortcut, is to just simply roast them. And it's also a little bit healthier, so. I like to salt my eggplant before working with it, you guys. This is a big hot debate out there whether to salt it and allow it to sweat. I think it adds a lot of flavor and helps the eggplant texture. At this point, they've sweat nicely, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure they're dried. And while I'm at it, wipe off any excess salt. Okay, so now we need a good brush of extra virgin olive oil, and I like to do this directly on the pan rather than using parchment paper or any of that, because when the eggplants touch the hot pan directly, you get a much better result with roasting. They can be snug, but they have to touch the pan. Ta-da! <laughs> it fit, okay. So now, we're gonna go in and brush the tops of these eggplant with a generous brush of extra virgin olive oil. I'm using the private reserve from the Mediterranean dish. You can find it on the site there. So you don't want to skimp on the oil. You wanna still give it a nice good brush. So the eggplant looks like a lot right now, you guys, but once it has roasted, it'll shrink a little bit and it will be nice and melty, it will be perfect in this pasta. Okay, this is ready to get in the oven at a higher heat, like 425 or so. We're gonna stick it in there for a few minutes, maybe 30 to 40 minutes. And while that's in the oven, we're gonna use the time to work on the sauce and the pasta and it will all come together. I got some water started for our pasta, seasoned it real well with kosher salt. I'm gonna get started on the sauce while this is all happening. See, multitasking, you guys. So, turn on your heat, about medium high-ish. You need a large pan for this because everything, all the pasta, all the sauce, and the eggplant, everything is gonna happen in this one big pan. So make sure you have a good sized pan going, medium high heat a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I am gonna go in with some minced garlic cloves, about five or six, you know, we love our garlic around here. A good teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. I want the garlic to have a little bit of color, but I don't want it to turn brown, right? So manage your heat accordingly, guys. This is looking good, I'm gonna go in with my canned Tomatoes, these are just canned diced tomatoes, no big deal. Ooh, yes. <laughs> this party smells good already, right here. Right, we're gonna give this a bit of kosher salt and black pepper love, and a dash of oregano. Oh yes, good things are happening. Turn the heat up, and once it starts bubbling, I'm gonna turn it down and let it simmer for a few minutes and get my pasta in this nice bubbling water. Eggplant is looking great. I'm just gonna remove the ones that kinda look nice and done to me. And then I'm gonna flip over the others and put them right back in the oven. 
the eggplant is so good right now. It's fully melted in the oven, you guys, and that's exactly what I want it to do. The sauce is nice and thick, so I'm just gonna let them simmer together and for the eggplant to kind of absorb some of the sauce. Okay, now we add our beautiful pasta. Right, right, hot, <laughs> right in here. All right, mix this party together. Add a little bit of the pasta water. Always grab some of the pasta water because you may just need it. It'll help me mix everything together. Oh my goodness, you guys. Now, a little bit of fresh parsley. Oh yes. And ricotta salada cheese. Ricotta salada is a little bit soft and slightly salty. It's everything you need to finish this beautiful dish. I love a good pasta dinner. Another really good one that you should check out is my shrimp pasta. Pasta night is about to go down, you guys. Grab the recipe for pasta alla norma over on the Mediterranean dish.com. I will see you later. Ciao.